track during the investments. Really just a rounding error of investment happens in this early stage, right? So some of the people I know, and you guys are one of them because you're, at least you're regulated, right? That, that this counterparty risk is a big deal. And custodianship is a big part of counterparty risk. So there's a few emerging groups that are looking at institutional grade custodianship, like Coiny for one of their client of ours. If they're just drilling down, it's institutional risk. You know, it's, now you can you can hold you can hold private uh, custodianship. You know, there's a lot of cold wallets or you know cold storage or you know we even we're a wealth manager, so we can do it by commission, right? But but I think that the marketplace, if you have institutional grade where pension funds can do it, it's going to be a relatively cheap commodity to do, and you probably. We're probably going to subscribe to the one or two guys on the planet that are going to do institutional digital custodianship. Is what I see. The, the second thing is is uh, you've got you've got to have gating. You guys have some gating for your platforms. You've got to, We've got a gate to valuable securities, right? So early stage companies, self issuance, right? Those platforms are. There's got to be a network of platforms that have gating that operate at a high standard, and everything that you exchange with someone in Singapore meets a certain standard, right? Whether it's issuance documentations issued by an FCA approval, right? The, the standard of the documents, the kind of reporting required to the investors, the quality, the, dig, the, the technological quality of your token, which I'm not capable of addressing, I'm a banker. But those things, we gotta set those kind of international standards and then you're gonna have a cohort of platforms in the world that operate on that standard. Right, and I think there's a chance for success because now you're talking about counter. You're, you're also addressing counterparty risk. Then, uh, so so you have institutional grade custodianship. You've got uh, you've got you've got to have you have the more sophisticated. Uh, we in the U.S. we call it suitability screening for investors, right? Because on a lower level, you're able to just screen for money laundering and things of that nature, right? But really, in order to have primary and secondary trades, the, the trade has to be suitable for the investor. Meaning, you know, how old is he? What's his exposure to uh, alternative? These are all alternative investments, right? These are some of the derivatives, maybe public securities. So you've got to have a, a more robust suitability uh, process for the investor to decide just AML and KYC. So these platforms, and you, I think you guys are probably one of them. We'll have to start subscribing to these higher standards. Then you can exchange with, uh, like, uh, a shares post in the U.S. They're doing some primary digital offerings now. We, we listed some stuff up there. But anyway, so I think that's probably where the market's going. And it's a lot bigger than this. It's this is it's it's hundreds of trillions in all assets. So I think if we start heading now, initially, I, I like your kind of early stage. You kind of help out early stage guys because you know you need to do some transactions. But I think we do need to look to have some higher standards where we can build a, co a, a worldwide cohort of trading platforms that subscribe to these really high standards, and those will you'll exchange either primary offerings, right? Oh, it's listed on High Castle. You know, I'm in Singapore. Well, I'll list your offering on primary, and you do a fee share with them, right? But I think I guess that's, we, that's I, where I think the I just want to add something there. So. Let, obviously, there is the trading component and the listing component and the what is capital markets component, but you still have your asset management component, and it is the asset manager and the investment manager that brings the suitability component as well. Everyone has different suitability components, so let's not forget about the asset manager and the investment manager. So that's another layer. Obviously, they cannot do everything. They'll do part of it. Everyone needs to do their, their job. Well, well, the next one, the last question I want to say is, now the platforms have to make a decision. Are they going to issue securities, or are they going to be sell some? <laughs> no, no, uh, Jeffrey, we, uh, we actually want to work with investment banks and the sell side very much, because we understand uh, what value investment banks are. No, I get it, but, but you have to think, there's two, there's two worlds in investment banking, right? There's, there's, the, there's the listing broker, right, who yeah. did all the underwriting and diligence, then there's sell side. Sell side can get commission, yeah. but they don't take responsibility for the underwriting. Right. They don't take regulatory responsibility or liability. So right. in this case, now uh, look at, now as, as, a, as a company, don't do any prospectus, because with a prospectus, it's a different story, right? Uh, then basically, 
there is a different parties for taking the risk, but uh, in other cases, uh, we are taking this risk because it's our oblig obligation and uh, uh, we can act on this. <laughs> I, I, suspect, I suspect what what will happen in the world, it'll be like the New York Stock Exchange. They don't take underwriting responsibility. If it passes, you know, there's underwriters that underwrite the thing, they sell. That's it. And this is, uh, who do we, uh, Sheriff's Post is like one floor. We still, we still know. They, they won't take underwriting responsibility. They only do sell side because they want commissions on the trade, but they don't want the, they don't want the underlying liability or responsibility of the underwriting. Do you think there is underwriting thing for private companies? <coughs> underwriting what? Underwriting for private securities. There is no. Well, not underwriting, but it, it's, diligence, it, it's listing responsibility. Yeah, so. list, listing responsibility is basically on us because we are a platform uh, which is uh, which need to be in compliance with the FCA regulation, with the local regulation, and also other regulations, right? So it's our responsibility to make it sure. Yes, today. I want you to disagree from, with this from, position. From a, legal, from a legal perspective, we all. Uh, we actually do it by uh, uh, FC handbook, right? <laughs> so ha FC has a brilliant handbook which is describing the whole process of how you need to deal with your with, with your with your clients. Uh, but we definitely not take a responsibility on business due deal because business due deal is something which has to be done by investors, right? We are thinking now about AI, <laughs> some artificial intelligence some long term uh, which can do some uh, help to do some uh, business due deal but i think it's uh, not really uh, a role of, of a capital market platform right so uh, it's really a, a opportunity for investor uh, to do a business due deal uh, with if they want to invest in this alternative asset alternative asset right uh, so okay there's a question. Um, surely you have to do some sort of due diligence on the companies that you allow on your platform. You know, not to allow scams and the members of your high castle users to get scammed, which would ruin your reputation if you allow just a single scammy company to sell scammy coins. We don't sell coins. I mean, you know, <laughs> securitized no offerings of, of, you know, on blockchain of whichever, you know, Ukrainian timber company, you know, any company, you have to do due diligence on the companies that you list on, on High Castle. Yes, we just said that we do. Okay. Can you summarize what you do? Well, but you need to acknowledge that they are FCA regulated, so obviously the standards are British standards. Let's start by that, right? Yeah. And then you can ask your question. So you want to put out the next year to the British? Yeah. Yes. But will be, will be. We will be. I'm going to be close to the future. Inspired by the. Well, no, no, the, uh, the, the chat. You, you said you were regulated. No, no, but uh, in the process of getting yeah, ready. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're one of the sandbox. Yeah. No, we are not in sandbox. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh, never have been to the sandbox. <laughs> uh, we, we have pretty, uh, yes, good communication with, uh, with FCM actually exchanging a, a, lot, a lot of communication about our license and all. So, uh, what we are not yet. Yeah. I'm sorry? What permission are you looking to get? Are arranging deals in investments? Yes. Okay. How many initially done to Sorry. Sorry. Oh, sorry. How many have you done to And how many have you raised? Oh, that's. We're going for one, two, five. The question is. Yeah, and then. That's principal okay. broker. But a lot, a lot of uh, questions are coming up out of the our plan. So, uh, <laughs> sorry guys, I, I just need, I just, I just need to. Uh, to pro you can look after. No, no, no. You can talk after. How many token sales have you done so far? We, we have done the platform and token sales. We don't even it's like this. Offering, this is so, different yeah. definitions of the token sales. Oh, sorry. How many STOs have you done so far? We, we can't do STOs as long as we don't have a license. Okay, so you've done nothing so far. We, we have done a, a proper regulatory work and a very good uh, software yeah, solution. Okay, we've done the software. Okay. And a, and a lot of I know that a lot of uh, um, like kind of platforms sitting here in the audience 
uh, trying to challenge uh, the solution. I, I think High Castle is very open to it because we know what our, our, our what is strange strength is, like what we, we can achieve and how we see the market. So I think we, we are already helping a lot of companies by only really uh, consulting them how they can get successful and how they can do the proper offering and sale of invest of the investment offer. And it's a much more tough and the proper way to do it than just to come to company and say, you know guys, you can sell, you can sell some coin to investors who do not even understand what is it. So I think it's much better to start this proper regulatory um, share registry solutions and go and scream around about STOs. So I'm against of STOs, we don't do STOs and uh, we help companies to, uh, to fundraise and sell uh, their digitalized securities, uh, equity in debt and, uh, and, and it's where a benefit is coming. So let's, let's probably try to start a panel because I want actually to learn more from, from our panelists. And, uh, um, and uh, can, can you get me? Yeah. Uh, Nick, uh, so maybe you can join us.